Welcome back to another TrackMan tutorial video. Today, we're going to take a look at how to connect an iOS device like an iPod, iPad, or iPhone to TrackMan Performance Studio as an external camera. That way you can record swing videos. Let's head over to the PC and take a look. If it's not open already, the first thing we're going to want to do is open up TrackMan Performance Studio. Before we start shot analysis, we'll need to verify that the PC is connected to the TrackMan via Wi-Fi. This next step is very important. The TrackMan itself broadcasts two different Wi-Fi networks to connect to. You're going to want to make sure that the PC is connected to the one that does not have the word FAST in it. Once the PC is connected successfully, we can go ahead and click away from the network settings and start a shot analysis. As always, it's good practice to verify that your TrackMan is calibrated successfully on this target image screen. If you have more questions on how to do that, please check out our calibration video. You'll need to make sure you choose a player, and a club, and at this point you'd be ready to hit some shots. But you'll see if we click on the video camera icon in the top right, we can't record any swing videos because the only two cameras we have connected to TrackMan Performance Studio are the webcam on my laptop, which isn't very helpful, and the TrackMan camera, which we prefer to be used to optically enhance the data we track for each shot. So let's head over to my iPhone, which I've set up on a tripod as a down-the-line camera, and see if we can get it connected. First, open up the Settings app on your phone, and then go to Wi-Fi Settings. Now going back to the important step I mentioned earlier, you need to make sure that you connect the external camera, in this case my iPhone, to the TM4 network labeled as FAST. Failure to do so may result in slower video load times into TrackMan Performance Studio. And if you don't already know the password to your TrackMan 4's Wi-Fi network, it's just the word password in all lowercase letters. Once we get that blue check mark next to the network name, we know we're connected successfully. At this point, we can head back to our home screen and open up the TrackMan Camera app, which if you don't have it already, can be downloaded in the App Store. As soon as you open the app, it should be super simple and automatically connect to your TrackMan 4, indicated by the serial number in the top left. As soon as the TrackMan Camera app shows an image, it's now connected. You can also verify on the PC that it's connected by the green video camera icon that populates in the top right. Now, if you open up that video camera menu, you can see that my phone is connected. If you click on the settings button, it takes you to a menu where you can change all the camera settings on my phone straight from the PC. You can change the quality of the video, the shape of the video, whether it's fast shutter or slow shutter, and the frames per second. Personally, I like to leave high quality on and the FPS at 120. If we head over to my phone, you'll see there's a gear icon in the top right hand corner of the app which takes you to the settings menu. Here you can edit all the same settings that we just changed on the PC. Heading back over to the computer, let's go hit some shots and finally record swing videos. First, let's change our view by clicking the four squares and then the swing video icon and then the live button to get a live feed from the camera. I'm also going to zoom out on this video feed by holding the control button on the bottom left corner of my keyboard and simultaneously rolling the wheel on my mouse. One last tip before we get started is if you head back to the phone, you can focus the camera by physically tapping on the screen. This and cleaning off the lens with a microfiber cloth may help any blurriness in the swing video. Now we're finally ready to hit some shots and record some swing videos. As you can see in the top right hand corner, the TrackMan and video camera icons go orange momentarily because they're busy tracking the shot. Once they go back to green, they're armed and ready to track the next. In addition, you may have to zoom out one more time on that first swing video, but it should save those settings once you do so. The next thing I want to go over is how long it takes those swing videos to load from the TrackMan camera app back into TPS on the PC. As you can imagine, the higher the quality and FPS of the video, the longer it'll take for it to load into TrackMan Performance Studio. First, we'll try 240 frames per second. As you can see here, with frame rate and quality set to the max they can be, it can take up to about 12 seconds for the video to load into TPS. 
a small price to pay for such high resolution videos. Check out how smooth the slow-mo is here on the right. If however you don't want to wait that long for the videos to load, you can start to do things like lowering the frames per second. Here we're going down to 30 FPS. You can easily see how much faster the video loads into TPS. As you can see here on the right, the only downside to that is a slightly choppier slow-mo and loss in clarity. The last thing I want to go over today is how to calibrate that iOS camera. That way you can get the overlays on the swing video that show face angle and club path. In order to do so, click the video camera icon in the top right and then the calibrate button next to the camera you're trying to calibrate. This next screen will show you the camera view from the iOS camera you set up and the TrackMan's camera simultaneously. All of the directions to calibrate your camera are spelled out on this screen. In general, you need to set four balls down in a square pattern on the left hand side of the screen, which is the point of view from the TrackMan's camera. Once you've done so, you'll need to click on each golf ball. This will bring up a crosshair which you need to align on the center of the ball using the directional arrows on the bottom right hand corner of your keyboard. You may also notice that each ball is now given a number when you click on it. This will be important when we go to calibrate on the next camera view. Moving over to the camera angle from our iOS camera on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see we need to click on those golf balls again, align the crosshairs, and do so in the exact same order that we numbered the ones on the left. Once you're finished, you can click Calibrate and you should get a successful message. Now that the calibration process is complete, you can move those four golf balls away and let's hit a shot to see what those swing video overlays look like. While we wait, it's very important to note that if the iOS device ever gets bumped or moved, you will need to repeat that calibration process. And there you have it, a crystal clear swing video with overlays showing club path and face angle. That just about wraps up our overview on connecting an iOS device as an external camera to TrackMan Performance Studio, but if you have any other questions about something we didn't cover today, please feel free to check out some of our other videos, or you can always contact our support team. Thanks. Have a good day.